Our journey commences in ancient Persia, where the Elamites and Medes laid the groundwork for a civilization that would echo through time. The stage was an expansive tableau stretching from the Indus Valley to Anatolia, where the Elamites, one of the earliest civilizations, made their mark. Not far behind were the Medes, another foundational group, known for their artistry and military prowess. But it was Cyrus the Great who transformed these separate tribes into a unified force. In 550 BCE he established the Achaemenid Empire, which became a beacon of culture, governance, and innovation. This empire, the first of the Persian empires, was a testament to the power of inclusivity. Cyrus the Great's rule was marked by a respect for the diversity of the cultures he conquered, allowing them to retain their customs and beliefs. Thus, the stage was set for a power shift that would alter the course of Persian history. The fall of the Achaemenid Empire under the blade of Alexander the Great marked a new era. In 331 BCE, Alexander, a young, ambitious Macedonian king, swept across the Persian Empire, toppling the mighty Achaemenid rule. Yet, this was not the end of Persian influence. The collapse of the Achaemenid Empire gave way to the rise of the Seleucid Empire, a Hellenistic state birthed from the ashes of the Persian rule. The Seleucids, named after their founder Seleucus the Nicator, a former general of Alexander, governed a vast realm that stretched from Anatolia to the Indus Valley. They fostered a unique blend of Greek and Persian cultures, giving rise to a vibrant era of Hellenistic Persia. This fusion of cultures is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the Persian spirit. Yet even in decline, the Persian spirit endured ready for a resurgence. From the ashes of decline rose the Parthians and Sasanians, rejuvenating the Persian essence. As the Seleucid Empire waned, the Parthians, a formidable force from the northeast, stepped into the power vacuum restoring Persian rule. Their reign, marked by relative stability, was a testament to their skills in governance and diplomacy. Meanwhile, the Sasanians emerged, establishing an empire that spanned from the Indus to the Euphrates. They fostered a vibrant cultural and artistic renaissance, with advancements in architecture, literature, and science. This period also saw the resurgence of Zoroastrianism, the ancient monotheistic faith of Persia. The Sasanians didn't just build, they battled, their rivalry with the Roman Empire led to a series of wars that shaped the geopolitical landscape of the ancient world. Yet, in the face of adversity, their cultural contributions endured, leaving a lasting legacy that still resonates today. Despite the challenges, a new era was on the horizon, one that would forever change the face of Persia. The 7th century brought with it winds of change, carrying the seeds of a new religion to Persian lands. The Arab invasion marked the beginning of Islamic influence in Iran, a pivotal moment that forever transformed its cultural and religious landscape. Islam was not just a religion, it was a comprehensive way of life that found its way into every corner of society. Persian culture, resilient and adaptable, absorbed the Islamic influences, leading to a unique synthesis of Persian and Islamic traditions. Under the Abbasid Caliphate, the city of Baghdad emerged as a beacon of intellectual progress. This was the golden age of Islam, a period of remarkable advancements in science, art, and literature. Persian scholars and artists played pivotal roles, contributing to a cultural renaissance that left an indelible mark on the world. Yet, the tides of time were relentless, bringing forth another wave of change. The Mongol invasions left their mark, but from devastation, a cultural revival emerged. The Mongol invasions of the 13th century, led by the infamous Genghis Khan, brought about a period of great upheaval and destruction. Cities were razed, libraries burned, and countless lives were lost. Yet, as the dust settled, a new era dawned with the rise of the Timurid Empire. Timur, also known as Tamerlane, was a Mongol conqueror who founded the Timurid Empire in the late 14th century. His reign, though marked by military conquests, also ushered in a period of cultural blossoming. Timur's descendants, particularly his son Shah Rukh, were great patrons of the arts and sciences. They commissioned works of architecture, literature, and art that still inspire awe today. Persian miniature painting, calligraphy, and poetry flourished under Timurid patronage, leaving a rich cultural legacy. Through the ashes of destruction, the Timurid Empire rose like a phoenix, symbolizing the resilience and cultural vibrancy of Iran. The stage was set for a new power to rise, ushering in an age of empires. The Safavids rose to power, carving out a new chapter in Iran's history. This dynasty, led by Shah Ismail I in the early 16th century, 
marked a significant turning point. The Safavids unified all of Iran under a single rule, and in doing so, established Twelver Shi'ism as the state religion. This move fundamentally reshaped Iran's cultural and religious identity, setting it apart from its Sunni neighbors. During the Safavid reign, Iran truly became an empire to reckon with. The country was a nexus of intricate trade networks connecting the East and West. It was also a diplomatic powerhouse engaging actively with the rising European colonial powers. The Safavids were not just rulers, they were patrons of arts and architecture, leaving behind a rich cultural legacy seen in the grand mosques and palaces of Isfahan. Yet, as the sands of time shifted, so too did the power dynamics of Persia. The Qajar dynasty, the constitutional revolution, and the birth of modern Iran marked a new era of transformation. With the Qajars at the helm from 1796, Iran faced internal strife and external pressures. The dynasty's attempts to modernize Iran were met with resistance, culminating in the Constitutional Revolution in 1906. This revolution marked a significant shift in Iran's political landscape, establishing a constitutional monarchy and paving the way for a parliament. Fast forward to the 20th century, Iran saw dramatic changes with foreign interventions, a brief monarchy under the Pahlavis, and a landmark event in 1979, the establishment of the Islamic Republic. This period has been characterized by a blend of tradition and modernity, as Iran navigates its path in the world. And so, our journey through Iran's history comes to a close, leaving us with a deeper understanding of this vibrant, resilient nation.